All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to show you guys today how to do that last question that I've been getting emails about, like, uh, Chavez, I don't know how to do a cubic regression. Uh, I don't know how to get the equation, blah, blah, blah. So they give you a list of tables. A list of tables. That doesn't, that doesn't even make sense. They give you a table, uh, and then that table, they give you some numbers, some X values and Y numbers. So on Desmos, go to Desmos and create a table. So here's my table, X1, Y1. And you're just going to type in the numbers they give you. Uh, I'm making some up. Uh, well, okay, I'm not 100% making them up uh, because I tried up a cubic function that was perfect. Uh, so here we go. So I'm typing 5, 8, 21, 50, 101. And uh, I think I got them correct. And I don't see any of my grid points. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I guess I could fix it to where I only see my grid points, right? Uh, so let's see, zero to, mm, I don't know, seven, and then negative 10 to 150. So there are my points right there. And I need to find a cubic function that fits these points. So what you do, you type in, see how you have y1 right here and x1, that's a subscript there. So y subscript 1, x subscript 1. So what you do, guys, you go y1, and then you're going to hit the tilde, which is this little squiggly line. And then I just go, since they, I just, I'm just going to go down the alphabet, a, b, c, d. Uh, that's probably the form that they have it also. a, x1, the subscript there, to the power 3, and then move your arrow to the cursor to the right, plus b, x1 to the power 2 remember I have to plot I have to uh, you know re I have to uh, put that subscript there of 1 guys because that's what I'm referencing plus C X 1 and then finally plus D and there are tell that that right there R squared equals 1 means it's a perfect fit for my cubic function so at 0 I am at 5 because the D value is 5 so let's see A is 1 B is 2 C is, what this means right here, 1.7819 times 10 to the negative 15. Guys, that means 0. That means 0, and the D is 5. Uh, let's see if it works for 1. If I plug in a 1, so you're going to have 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, it works. Uh, I, uh, I'm surprised that it doesn't say C is 0 there, so maybe I messed up with one of my numbers. Uh, so 2 is 21, so let's, let's figure it out. Uh, 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is another 8, so 8 plus 8 is 16, uh, then that's 0 again, and then 16 plus 5, yep, 21, it works. Uh, so let's try 3 again. I mean, I guess we don't have to try it, we can just type it in, right, see if it's the same thing. So let's see, this says that A is 1, so X to the third power uh, plus uh, 2X squared plus uh, I guess 0 technically, then plus 5. And if I were to make a table, and if I were to say x and then call this f of x, uh, if I plug in those same numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, there it is. It's pretty much the same thing. 8, 21, 50, 101. It is the same. Uh, so yeah, it works, guys. So there it is. That's how you do the last question. Hopefully that made sense. Let me know if it didn't make sense, guys. All right, bye.